In this video, we're going to talk about the melting points of alkanes. So let's go over the numbers first. Here we have methane. The melting point for methane is negative 182 degrees Celsius. Next we have ethane, which is at negative 183 degrees Celsius. And then propane, that's negative 188. Next is butane, coming at negative 138. And then we have pentane, which is at negative 130, followed by hexane. The, the melting point for hexane is negative 95. And then for heptane, negative 91. And for octane, it's negative 57. Now for nonane, which has nine carbons, the melting point is negative 51. And for decane, negative 30. Now notice the general trend for the melting points of alkane. As the molecular weight increases, as we add more and more carbon atoms to the chain, the melting point, generally speaking, will increase. So the trend is very similar with boiling point. We know that for longer hydrocarbons, the boiling point increases. But the melting point of alkanes has some unusual features. First, the trend doesn't really work for the first three alkanes, methane, ethane, propane. As we go from negative 182 to negative 183, the melting point is actually decreasing. And going from ethane to propane, it decreased even more. So propane has the lowest of the melting points of the alkanes listed here, which is kind of strange. But after propane, the trend follows the molecular weight. As you add more and more carbon atoms, the melting point will increase. Now, there's something else that we need to pay special attention to. And that is the drops in the melting point between certain alkanes. Notice that as we go from propane to butane, there is a huge drop in the melting point. I mean, not a huge drop, but rather a huge increase in the melting point. It went from negative 188 to negative 138. That's an increase of 50. As we go from Let's put this in a different color. Three carbon atoms to four carbon atoms. Now, going from four to five, the change is really not that significant. The increase is only by eight degrees Celsius. However, as we go from five to six, the change is huge. We're going from negative 130 to negative 95. That's an increase of 45 degrees Celsius. And that trend repeats. As we move from an odd number of carbon atoms to an even number of carbon atoms, there is a huge increase in the melting point. Going from even to odd, the increase in melting point is small. Here, the increase is only 4 degrees Celsius. But here, from negative 91 to negative 57, that's an increase of 34 degrees Celsius. So let's put some numbers to this. So this was an increase of 50. This was an increase of 45. And this is an increase of 34. Now, going from 8 to 9, the increase is only by 6, so not much. But going from 9 carbons to a 10 carbon chain, the increase is much larger. It's 21. Now, as the chain progressively gets longer and longer, the increase in the melting point from an odd number of carbon atoms to an even number of carbon atoms, we can see it's decreasing. 
Here the increase is 50, here it's 45, 34, and 21. So eventually it's going to level off. But generally speaking, as you add more carbon atoms in the carbon chain, the melting point of the alkane will increase.